Hello, good evening and happy new year everyone. In this video tutorial, which is going to be very brief, I'm going to be addressing a question that I see popping up quite a bit. And that is, how do I get my injective, which I've purchased on Coinbase or which I've purchased on Coinbase and it's sitting in my MetaMask wallet. And that is all Ethereum based injective. How do I get that injective into my Kepler wallet? Now, the abbreviated version of this video is you would either buy your injective in Ethereum on Coinbase, transfer that injective in Ethereum, and you need the Ethereum for the gas into your MetaMask wallet. You're then going to connect the MetaMask wallet here to the injective hub. You're going to uh, bridge that injective from your MetaMask wallet here onto the injective hub, at which point, if you wanted to, you could stake them. Remember, it's still going to be Ethereum based though. And our goal is how do we get it into the Kepler wallet? Well, from there, you just simply need to move that injective off of the injective hub, and we're going to transfer it into our Kepler wallet. Because once we get it here onto the injective hub, it's very simple to do. All right, as always, I am not an investment advisor. This is not investment advice. Again, just trying to help people out out there, seeing a lot of questions around this process specifically. So let's go ahead and dive in. So here we are on the injective hub, and I'm gonna be doing this with a MetaMask wallet that's brand new. You can see I've got no injective, no Ethereum, nothing in here. So the process is going to be the following. I'm going to go ahead, I mean, I'm not going to make you watch it, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to purchase some Ethereum, I'm going to purchase some injective, and I'm going to transfer it right here into this MetaMask wallet. All right, let me do that, and then we're going to pick up from right where I left off. All right, so I purchased some Ethereum, moved it from Coinbase into my MetaMask wallet. I purchased some injective on Coinbase as well, and also moved that into my MetaMask wallet. Now, fees, what did that run? Outside of the purchase fees, the transfer fees, and this is interesting. So Coinbase has got it figured out finally. This Ethereum transfer into my MetaMask wallet was $1.55. And so I'm not sure how Coinbase is doing that behind the scenes, but, I'm really glad that they figured that out. So, because fees are one of my biggest complaints with Ethereum-based tokens. Now, the injective, and again, I only moved over $5. The fee was $3.15. Again, doing it for the tutorial video, so I ate that fee. So we're looking at about $4.75 in fees in order to transfer. That doesn't. This is not the purchase fees, right? Those were a little different. Um, but Coinbase is super reasonable. So, all right, we've got our Ethereum here for our gas. We've got the injective in our MetaMask wallet. And again, this is all Ethereum based right now. So what are we gonna do? Let's go ahead and connect up our MetaMask wallet because now that we have custody of that injective, in other words, it's no longer on an exchange or a DEX. We've got it in our wallet. We have full custody of it. We're gonna connect that MetaMask um, wallet and you can see here, now this is a little bit misleading and I wanna cover this real quickly because this is causing some confusion as well. So you can see that it shows you an injective, sort of native injective address that starts with INJ. However, if you click on this little drop down arrow here, you can see that it's an Ethereum based injective address, right? So it's, it's associated with this Ethereum address down here. So, this, again, causes a little bit of confusion. Uh, we've got the MetaMask wallet connected, and this is my injective address, but it's associated with this Ethereum-based address. That's the MetaMask wallet. So with the wallet connected, what do we need to do? Well, we're going to take it from the MetaMask wallet on the Ethereum blockchain, and we're going to bring it here onto this exchange, the injective hub. So I'm going to go to Bridge. And you can see it sees my MetaMask wallet, right? 799D, and that's correct. And here is the injective address that's native to injective, right? And I could edit the address if I wanted to, but we don't. So we're gonna pull, and you can see it shows available as 0.13. If I was to come back over here, I think this is showing the dollar amount. It, it's 0.13, right? And it's $5 worth. So we're gonna pull pretty much all of it. Let's take, uh, and it's gonna be Ethereum for the fee, so I'm gonna take 0.13. We're gonna click on Set Allowance. 
you're going to get a pop-up. I'm doing full screen here. When you do this, it's probably going to be a pop-up in the right-hand side of your screen. I'm going to go ahead and click Next, and that's just the max spending cap, and I usually just click Approve, or I click uh, Accept on that. Now, here's where Ethereum, right? This is not Coinbase doing this. This is the Ethereum blockchain. It's going to be $4.62. I'm going to click Approve. That's why I move $15 into the wallet. And uh, everything is set up here. I'm going to click Transfer Now. So here's where we get the pop-up. We can see we're going to get 0.13 injective. You've got the transfer amount that's going to take place. Uh, and then I'll click that. And so again, you can now see uh, that the gas fees have gone up substantially. Right, so for me to do this, uh, and the fees are kind of dropping there, I'm gonna wait a second here. All right, and so what ultimately happened here is after I did the approval, and that was a $4 fee to get the approval set up here in order to bridge the injective from my MetaMask wallet, that Ethereum-based injective, and to bring it over here to the injective hub so that I can transfer it using native injective addresses and paying with injective for the gas fee. I, I went ahead and moved some additional Ethereum in there because the fees had gone up. It was just simply too expensive. So now let's go ahead and click transfer now. So we're already, keep this in mind, and again, this is my major complaint with Ethereum-based tokens, is the gas fees. So we've already paid 465, I think it was, in order to do the approval. Now let's go ahead and see what they're going to charge. It looks like $7.31. I'm going to click confirm before that goes up. And here's what you're going to see. Now, there should be another pop-up window that comes up that shows some, yeah, there it is right there. All right. So this is going to show us the elapsed time to transfer uh, 0.10 injective. So that was another $7, right? So we're kind of $11 in. And this is, while this is going on, this is why my approach would be buy Atom. Buy Atom on Coinbase. Don't just buy the injective. Buy Atom. Use the Cosmos, which you can transfer natively off of Coinbase. Transfer it into your Kepler wallet, and then you can swap for the injective, right? So much easier to do. You could do it on the Osmosis Zone. Do the swap on the Osmosis Zone to get your injective. And that is going to be exponentially cheaper than the Ethereum fees that we just had to pay. Uh, and again, I'm not complaining about, oh, it's so expensive for such a small amount because I'm intentionally doing a small amount of injective. But again, these Ethereum fees were probably at almost $12 in Ethereum fees in order to just get the injective from Coinbase into the MetaMask wallet and then from the MetaMask wallet bridging it here to the injective hub. And you're not going to be anywhere near $12 in fees buying the Atom, transferring the Atom, swapping the Atom, uh, and, and then it's in your Kepler wallet already, right? And you transfer it into your Kepler wallet from Coinbase. Super, super simple. So this looks like it's got about five more con confirmations to go. What we're going to do once this is done is I'm going to go ahead and now I've got the injective on the injective hub. I've got the native injective address, right? So now I can transfer it to any other injective address. And so I'm going to do that to my Kepler wallet. Again, I'm going to pause here. We'll come back once this completes. All right, and there we have it. It took right around four and a half to five minutes for the bridging of that injective out of the MetaMask wallet and getting it here onto the injective hub. I'm gonna click close and let's go ahead and I'm not sure about what I just found there, but we'll leave it like that. All right, so if I was to come over to the wallet now, let's take a look and you can see uh, that it sees this ERC20 balance of 0.04 and if I click on my MetaMask wallet, right? So this is this Ethereum based and I'm wondering if I have just a little injective hanging out and I do, right? So 0.03. So this balance right here is showing you your Ethereum based ERC20 balance that still sits in the MetaMask wallet. And this is how you can tell the difference between the ERC Ethereum based and the native injective, right? That's on the injective mainnet. And that's the balance that's here. That's that 0.10 that we brought over, right? Okay, so 
about $12 in fees to do this. Again, the Atom route would be much cheaper, but let's wrap this up here. So now that I've got this injective here, what could I do? Well, I could stake it if I wanted to, but we're interested in transferring. And so you can see right here, asset that I want to transfer. I want to transfer the injective. Let's take a look. We'll do max. And you can see it's going to be 0.095. And this is the balance we're transferring. Remember, this still sits in my MetaMask wallet and is ERC20 based. We didn't bridge that 0.04 over with the 0.10. So it's the 0.10 that I'm going to be able to work with. Now, injective address destination. What's my native injective address? Well, let me pull my Kepler wallet up. And you're going to see that we have some injective in here already. So 0.01. So we should end up with like 0.11. So there is my native injective address that starts with I and J in my Kepler wallet. I'm going to drop it here. There we go. And we're going to click transfer. Now, this fee is not based on Ethereum, right? So we're gonna go ahead and let this work itself out. We're gonna say sign, right? We're signing this transaction. And then we're gonna get another pop-up. And actually, if I remember correctly, there is no other pop-up. So let's check the Kepler wallet. You can see that our balance here has dropped down to 0.01 injective. So the fee took a little bit of that. Uh, and if we look at our Kepler wallet here, we should now see that instead of the 0.01, one we now have 0.11 injective so let's recap what we did you bought injective uh an ethereum you got it in your metamask wallet or you had the ethereum in your metamask wallet and the injective already in your metamask wallet we went ahead we bridged that over you're looking at about 12 dollars uh and that's you know your mileage is definitely going to vary because it's ethereum and then we bridged it over onto the Injective Hub site right here. And then we just went in our wallet, took a quick look. Remember, that's your ERC-20 based amount because we have our MetaMask wallet connected. So it sees what we still have in terms of ERC-20 Injective on the Ethereum blockchain. And then here's my uh, balance that I've got left over here on the Injective Hub site. And then I want to take custody of that Injective. So what do I do? I transfer it into my Kepler wallet. And here it is. Right. Where did it go? <laughs> right there. All right. Well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed making it. Hopefully it's going to help you out again. And I can't beat this drum enough. The Ethereum fees are ridiculous. Much cheaper way, buy Atom, send it to your Kepler wallet, go to the Osmosis Zone and swap for the Injective. And then you've got it right there. Just And then you can withdraw it off of the Osmosis Zone uh, and put it in your Kepler wallet. Simple as that. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope this helps you out. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video.